Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today in our video, we're going to go through the process of changing a battery on a Dell Latitude 7490 laptop. It's one of the new designs with an internal flat battery that requires uh, some disassembly of the unit in order to replace. Um, the tools you'll need, a uh, Phillips screwdriver, I use a nice number one Phillips screwdriver, and maybe a small flat head just to use to pry, and we'll show you that here in just a minute. But the, um, the process is different than in the past. You actually have to get inside the uh, laptop. So on this particular design, there are eight screws. If you turn the laptop over on the base, you're going to see eight screws, Phillips screws, that you're going to need to remove. So the first step is remove those eight screws. Again, these a lot of the new Dell Latitudes have these internal batteries. They, um, they do occasionally need to be replaced. You should expect to get a couple of years out of them, but um, sometimes you might want to just buy one to put a bigger one in there too. Anyway, um, first part here is to undo the eight assembly screws. Once you've got the eight done, then I, you can use something to help pry up on the bottom. The bottom will just pop off. I didn't have one of the screws totally out, so we finish that. Don't force it, but there you go. The bottom comes off, and now there's the battery. Okay, now the battery's held in with a couple of screws. So the next step is to remove the two screws that are holding the battery into the case. Now, the battery has a cable that connects the battery to the motherboard. Chances are you can still use the old cable. In this case, I'm going to assume the cable's still good. The cable is routed through a little slot on the bottom of the battery. It just snaps in there, so all you have to do is just get it out of the groove. And we want to remove that cable, unplug it right from the old battery. So again, we're going to assume that we're going to keep that cable. You can buy new cables. They're about $15 on eBay. The battery itself on this particular model, is a, we're using a 60 watt hour version. It's the type F3YGT. You can buy those on eBay for about $40. Uh, the cables, like I said, about 15 if you needed to replace that. There are a couple of sizes. Uh, the 60 watt hour is the larger of the two that are offered, and that's certainly what I would recommend. They're not that much more expensive than the little smaller battery. The batteries do use different cables, so you got to be careful to use the same, don't use the right cable. Okay, so now your process to put it back in is you take your new battery plug the connector that you're reusing into the battery. It should snap right in place, no fasteners involved. And then you're going to take that cable and route it through the channel on the bottom of the battery, as you can see me doing there. Just snap it down into the, into the channel so that it will... Uh, ride snugly once you've got it down flush then very carefully twist the battery into the position you want it and um, get it into position where you can assemble the two screws that hold that battery in position that simple we put in screw number one and screw number two. Now at this point, uh, we've changed the battery. Uh, I'm going to assume the battery is okay, so I'm going to put the bottom back on. Sometimes if you're any question, you could just turn it over and turn it on, turn the laptop on to make sure the battery you put in was any was good. But I'm assuming it's good, so we're going to wrap her up. We set the tabs of that lower case. Just noticed I pointed to them, and if you set those in the front lip first. There's little plastic tabs there. Locate them first and then snap down the bottom of the case into position. 
once you've got that down there's the next step is to reassemble those eight screws that you took out of the bottom of the case again um, if you have any doubt about the battery you're putting in you could have stopped before you put the bottom on this case and powered up the laptop to make sure that battery works just in case there was a problem you wouldn't have to totally uh, un uninstall this bottom case again sometimes there can be some question with that cable if uh, if you put it in and the battery still doesn't work then you got to try the cable so it might be more convenient to do that all before you put this bottom on again if you're going to operate the laptop without this bottom on make sure that you don't have it sitting on anything metal anything that conducts electricity have it on in our case here is on a plastic top of a bench and that's about it you get these uh, back together and you're done thanks for watching like our video subscribe to our channel fred from the laptop barn here over and out